everyone and welcome to our next episode of Dolly Dining, which is our doll inspired recipe series. Now this thing that we're going to be making isn't from an American Girl cookbook and it's not one of the Barbie recipes marketed with the doll, but for Christmas our friend Lisa and her parents picked us out some Frozen 2 inspired things. So we each got a mug. Mugs. And then there was also this Frozen 2 Holiday Double Chocolate Brownie Mix. Uh, which comes in this really cute wrapping. So we're going to make that with you guys today. So we have our dolly helpers, who aren't really going to help much at all. Um, this recipe doesn't require much, just some butter and eggs and vanilla. I have those things out. I'm going to use margarine instead of regular butter because that's all we have. And it's supposed to have three eggs. <laughs> so we only have two, but I think it'll be fine. And these are actually the eggs that I clean every day at the farm I work at. <laughs> so <laughs> even though we're vegetarian, um, you know, I take care of the chickens and I collect the eggs and clean the eggs. So it's like, whatever. <laughs> Unwrap it. It did have this really cute wrapper. So we already preheated our oven to 350. So we need to take two teaspoons of this powdered sugar. Which is right here. So you're just going to take four of those over here. Are they going on top after? Yeah, this is to top the brownies. Oh, okay. Do you know how to measure? It's not supposed to be spilling out over the top. You'll thank me later when the brownies are extra pretty. I actually don't really like sugar. Okay, so we're supposed to combine six tablespoons of the butter with three eggs and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, so I'll pack the eggs first. Again, we're one egg shy, but I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. Beautiful egg cracking, Shelly. So we need six <coughs> tablespoons of butter, and this is two tablespoons measuring cup. And then we need one and a half teaspoons of the vanilla which you can do, so you'll be three of those. Okay. Like this. Colleen, that was way too much. That was only two and a half. I know, that was a ton. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's enough to know. <laughs> this is why usually I do the baking. <laughs> Smells good. Believe it or not, I do a lot of cooking with my kids at work, and this is usually what happens. Right, and I don't want to be mean and like control everything for the video. <laughs> but you also want the brownies. Yeah, to be yeah. Good. this is why Colin can't do it. Oh my god, vanilla. It's good comedic yeah. relief. Fill this up a little bit, and then you can pour the contents of the jar in. So it's been mixed, and keep in mind this is lumpy because of the chocolate chips. I'm being a camera woman because uh, if I poured it in, it would end up all over the stove. Alright, and then it says, according to the directions, that you want to bake it for 35 to 40 minutes or until brownies are done, so when you get like a clean fork out of it, and then let cool before sprinkling the white sugar snow across the top of the brownies. Okay, you were right. Can of brownies. You were right. So, you feel good about yourself? Let's do it. Hi. Alright. And so this is the finished product. It actually was in the oven for probably closer to 50 minutes. And for some reason, it's thundering outside, even though it's December. Um, it's still like, it's cooked, but it's- I'm afraid of thunder. It's definitely not like 
still kind of soft. Um, so excuse the craters, apparently. We just kind of jammed the fork in there. There were already craters in it while I tested it. So yeah. So we have Colleen with the final taste test. I licked the spatula and it's pretty good. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> I feel like if um, my mouth weren't blistering right now, there's lightning outside and I'm oh, scared. Yeah, I think it reflected in the window over there. Um, Focus. Sorry, I'm really terrified of lightning. Um, I feel like if my mouth were blistering right now, it would be an enjoyable experience. But we hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.